yeah, the city's always been a bit grey. I'm hoping, obviously, now that's going to change. We're going all electric with the buses. I know they're trying to implement it with a lot of the cars. We've got the clean air zone, so um, building a lot of urban park areas. I'm hoping Birmingham in itself is just going to become very green. Hydrogen is, is the workhorse. And on one fueling, a bus can be out 15 hours a day. It can be doing up to, um, you know, 300 miles a day for a city like Birmingham, where from the centre of Birmingham, buses are actually going to the outer boundaries and beyond. So Birmingham to Coventry, Birmingham to Wolverhampton, Birmingham to Litchfield. You know, that takes a, a hydrogen bus to be able to do those kind of trips. These compared to the electric buses, electric buses are great around the town, but with the hydrogen, effectively, once the system up is running, in my opinion, and the hydrogen fuel tanks around the country, it's just like uh, any other vehicle. For the drivers, the, the zero emission vehicles, they're, they're much more quieter and smooth to drive. We've got a lot of drivers here that really are into buzzes and they just can't wait to get older and drive the new technology. Uh, it makes their appearance of themselves better as well. Investing in a, in a hydrogen as a, as a fuel, uh, we invest in people as well. So we will have, we hope for uh, more jobs for for people around this area. It's not just for today, but it's for the future, for the green future. You almost forget that you're having such an impact by keeping buses like this on the road and being involved in that change. But it's really cool. Like it's nice to be able to do something and say that you were a part of it and you can see that future you can be part of that change.